Hey, how's it going? Uh, gonna talk about um, some experiences uh, friends of mine have had um, and they recommended them for me. Um, however, I politely declined in the conversations I had with them. In reality, I was thinking they were the dumbest son bitches under the sun and all kinds of things. As if all the red flags and warning bells weren't already prominent with this subject, but they went on ahead anyway. And they think I'm the one who's, you know, <laughs> uh, taking chances and being, you know, um, too overt with, uh, being who I am. However, you know, I'm supposed to live in a civilized country, uh, Canada, it's supposed to be that way. Don't know if it is, don't think it is, not from my experience anyway. But, I'm not inclined to believe that it is uh, civilized elsewhere. And my friend, very big on going to Asia. He's from Australia, I don't know, maybe they got a different uh, social context there. Uh, there was a book um, that was written by some dude uh, called The Silent Invasion, uh, talking about China and the invasion into Australia. Uh, Chris Chappell from China Uncensored, can, uh, he, he had an interview with the author, uh, that would be worth a read. I should see if they have an audio book. I prefer audio books. Uh, anyway, uh, he went, well, why don't you save up your money and go on vacation? I'm like, well, yeah, you know, I got things going on over here. You know, obviously vacations are nice. Uh, lots of places I'd like to go to, uh, but right now I'm staying put. And, you know, Europe will have to wait. As well as a multitude of uh, United States uh, type places to go to. And, uh, you know, maybe even Australia. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that could be all right. Uh, and he went... But what about Asia? And I had to, you know, bite my tongue and go, you know, I um, don't really want to go there. And I had to, um, you know, restrain myself from saying a whole pile of negative things about it. And it's very easy to do. But, you know, sometimes people are so interwoven into what they believe that they don't want to hear it. And, you know, that's, that's really too bad, but, um, I mean, my, my friend, he ended up marrying an Asian woman, actually, and I wouldn't do anything like that, that's for damn sure, like, I hardly even want a white chick for a fuck buddy, let alone <laughs> going with an Asian woman permanently, oh, forget that. That's a load of no, not going to happen kind of stuff. I don't care what you think. Um, anyway, he routinely goes to places like Thailand where there are a bunch of fascists that run the country. There's that. They don't really like white people. No, they don't. It doesn't matter what anyone says. It doesn't matter if anyone who goes there and says that they had a wonderful time when they came back. They wanted your money. And uh, they wanted a smooth relations between, particularly Southeast Asia, but all of Asia and, um, and uh, you know, uh, the Western countries, particularly the United States of America. What you need to understand is that there are people in power, not just people who hate white people, but people in power in Asia that hate white people. And guess what? There is no smoothing over. They're never going to like us, and they have their reasons. They're wrong, but they have their reasons uh, for never liking white people. And it doesn't matter. I had another person I knew who went to Cambodia on some Red Cross bullshit or something like that, and he, he taught a bunch of school children. Yeah, very commendable. It's, you know, a very nice thing. He went to the really scuzzy parts. Leave out the part that he probably went with a prostitute. Uh, I don't know, that's a hypothetical. I don't know. I didn't talk to him too much about the subject, so I don't know. Uh, however, uh, he did say he was in the red light district, so, you know, uh, that's definitely uh, an odd place to go to. 
Um, and, you know, he seems like a reasonable guy. I don't know. Anyway, point I'm making, even if he left a big enough impact on these youths' minds that they actually have a positive view of white people, there's nothing to stop the next generation into being conditioned, being educated, into hating white people. There's nothing to stop that. It doesn't matter what the current generation, generation, the next generation, or the next generation after that, or maybe even five generations down the road, something like that, there will always be people who can train, condition, and educate uh, their own people to hate. That is the truth. It doesn't matter what Justin Trudeau says. It doesn't matter what any other, you know, probably a liberal, uh, would say. No, there is never going to be peace on this planet until the enemies have been eradicated. And you can forget about that Batman Dark Knight bullshit where he, you know, he's, uh, I think he goes to Hong Kong in an excerpt or something like that, and he's able to apprehend by blowing up the side of a building or the side of, a, you know, an office and apprehending, you know, the, 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 the Hong Kong fellow who stole that money from those mobsters. That doesn't happen in real life. Uh, and if it does, it sure, it's way down the spectrum. Asian leadership are like a prehistoric fish. They're in a place you don't see them. They're ugly. They don't show themselves very often, and for good reason, because nobody likes them, even their own people. And, you know, this is sort of being the devil's advocate, going, you know, the common everyday citizen doesn't blame the Western white man in particular, um, that it's really, you know, um, it's, uh, it's their leadership that's evil, and, you know, they blame their own leadership as much as they blame us. Fact of the matter is the white man's an easy scapegoat. Where's a white man, you know, very popular in the world politics that, um, you know, is blamed for essentially every little thing that goes wrong on this planet? Who is it? Oh, right, it's Donald Trump, a white man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, they influence politics, all right. And, uh, you know, the whole part of the building, you know, weapons of mass destruction against us, you know, oh, forget about that part, it's not a big deal. Um, you know, the fact that if you ever have to deal with any of their, uh, you know, bureaucratic uh, officials over there, you'll, you'll be treated fairly and respectfully, and you'll certainly have, you know, the um, Western country you're from, they'll be right there to, you know, represent you fairly. Yeah, that's a crock of shit absolute crock of shit uh like i look at the bureau trash here in canada and i'm like i'm supposed to fucking trust those fuckers over there not a fucking chance don't even trust them over here and you know you'll get people and this is lame dime store fucking uh what do you call it uh indoctrination, uh, persuasion, whatever you want to call it, you know, it's all the same shit in the end. It, it, my buddy, you know, from, from Australia, he, he tries to tell me, unlearn everything you've learned, like, dude, and, you know, don't have an ideology, like, dude, and I was like, yeah. You're a bit of a fucking dumbass if you expect that to work on me, don't you? Uh, like, uh, yeah, you don't have an ideology. I mean, he was telling me about, uh, you know, this uh, chick back from high school who, uh, you know, uh, went uh, kind of uh, lesbian, like really lesbian. Like, I couldn't, I, I could hardly believe she went so lesbian as she has been. I really hope it's a simple act on Facebook. But, I mean, she got a haircut. He was telling me she was trying to go get a beard and, you know, these other things. And I'm like, what the fuck happened to her? Last time I heard, I mean, granted, this was years ago, she was married to some dude. And then all of a sudden, it's like, what the 
I don't, I'm a loss to explain as to how that could possibly happen. I mean, you'd have to be, you'd have taken a few too many LSD, whatever they are, I've never taken that, uh, to really screw up your mind to really fucking think that that would be, you know, a logical sense of reality. That's an ideological belief. But you didn't like my wad because I said, fuck the goddamn Asians. I don't give a shit if their whole population it has to work in slave labor camps by their own government. I really don't care. Um, if they're, you know, holding their little red books, blaming the white man and wanting to get revenge against the white man and plotting to steal our country from us, which they are, piece by piece. And, you know, beer or trash over here, their mentality is, well, if it doesn't affect me, then I don't care. Uh, anything can be anti-white, and it doesn't matter. We'll just label it as progressive, multicultural, blah, 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 blah. And so long as it doesn't happen to me, then it doesn't matter. Fuck you, assholes. It's going to affect you. Because it's a, you know, kind of a balanced relationship. The politicians need our money. We don't have any money to give them. They got no money. And that's the same with Bureau Trash, too. They're all in this circle of bullshit. And uh, I am tired of these white people who fucking think that they're so much better than regular white people because they'll stab a white man in the back to, you know, uh, help out a person of color. No, you're not a better person. You just stabbed somebody else in the back. You're still a cocksucker, slime ball, sack of shit. All the worst names you could think of, you're, that's what you are. And uh, all of this, you know, peace wins. Blah, it was China, you know, um, uh, Team America, the fag way, you know. It's all, like, I can't stand these people. These people are, like, the most atrocious people on the planet, and people are alibying them. And, uh, like, for just straight up telling the truth, I'll be called a racist. That's okay, I like being a racist. I, I like discriminating against people. I admit that I discriminate against people. Doesn't mean I don't treat them fairly. Doesn't mean I don't, uh, you know, respect their uh, ability to exist and things like that. On this side of the pond, anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, if you come around here telling me I gotta downgrade my quality of life because uh, people over here are too stupid and they're just gonna let it get taken away, uh, you got another thing coming. And, you know, uh, I wish my friend well, but, you know, I'm uh, about ready to drop him like a hot sack of potatoes. <laughs> I'm not hanging around with somebody like that. He's going to fucking ruin my image. Unlearn everything you know. Excuse me, what do you know that's so goddamn important and so interesting to begin with? Because I don't think you know anything. Especially if you have those kind of interests. Uh, yeah, and it's like, you know, um, they were good friends of mine, and I'll turn my back on them. I will. Uh, I don't want to do that, but I will. To defend my own interests, I absolutely will do it. Uh, and, you know, that's not a nice thing to say. It's something I would feel guilty about, almost, anyway. Um, yeah, because as I said... I can't let the way their philosophy on life, you know, affect mine. I can't, I can't allow that. Uh, especially if they aren't going to come around to my persuasion, I wouldn't even try. You know, I would suggest it, you know, if it's there in my mailbox, that's about it. I'm not going to force them. I'm not going to do anything. But I am going to have a lesser of opinion of them at very least because they have a, such a stupid opinion on things. Uh, I don't believe in re-education camps. I don't believe in someone coming along and telling me, you know, this is what's good and what's not, and blah, 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 and how I'm doing things wrong in the sense and actually being wrong as they tell me these things. A bit of Asian pussy is not going to change my mind, which it does for a lot of people. A lot of people, they get a little bit of snatch and it's like, oh, I'll go along with it. I'll go along with it at first because they want to get the action. And then all of a sudden it's like they subscribe to a whole pile of beliefs. And it's like, no, no, no. Uh, ain't nothing going to happen. 
no uh that's you know that's the complete retard thinking um i mean if this earns me a few less subscribers on my youtube channel don't take that risk because i don't care I don't give a damn it's not my problem and some people may go oh well that's mean and thoughtless of you uh, well, so is building uh, weapons of mass destruction by the government and then indoctrinating future generations to hate us and having the knowledge to hate us and knowing everything about us and all our weaknesses and all our tactical disadvantages and all that sort of stuff. If you want to help them be the dominant superpower, the world number one world power in the United States, you know, you want to burn United States flags, you, you got a problem with me because I got a problem with that. And, uh, you know, there is no reasoning with these people. They don't want to be reasoned with. And let me make one thing clear. You will run into serfs and the elite that control them. Hell, I'm a serf. I'm a serf here in, in Canada. Uh, most people who work the majority of their month every year uh, are serfs. That's the reality of uh, life. And then there's the elite who hardly ever have to work. They just spend money all the time. I mean, I spend money all the time, but I have to work. So, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm somewhere in the middle ground, I'm the middle class. Uh, and Asia obviously has theirs. And obviously uh, their serfs are so much poorer. And I mean, there are other disgusting truths I could tell you too. And, you know, I'm, I'm hesitant to say it because, you know, I, you know, some people go, well, this is karma, so you're going to get what you deserve kind of thing. However, they felt that they were going to come get me anyway, so I'm going to say it. Um, you take a thing like, okay, a lot of stuff is made in Asia. Don't ever buy anything that was made in Asia that is meant to be consumed or, you know, uh, Anything where it's entering your body. Um, avoid buying frying pans. Um, certainly foods. Uh, most people actually straight up refuse to buy Chinese foods. Although I, I believe I have made a video on debunking that possible theory. Um, you know, in saying that food doesn't actually grow from China. And it just says that because it's a shitty part of Mexico. Uh, that's my belief um okay so there's that but uh okay here's this one you know those women almost every woman has used a dildo in her life almost every woman especially in the western world most of those dildos are made in asia by slaves why do you think they're built there they're made there for cheap labor and china has a major crackdown on um you know, um, unauthorized sex, like one child policy, all this bullshit. And there's great swaths of men that will never get a woman. Never. And I don't feel bad for that because that's just the stupid way they ran their population and their economy and the, their country. That's their own damn fault. Problem is, they don't want to pay them anything. They have to do these things and they have to stop them from committing suicides. How are they going to do that? Well, they're going to pay them in a few jokes. And uh, if not directly, say, uh, you know, um, encourage it, they're going to say, they're going to go look away, look the other way as these disgusting involuntary celibate <laughs> uh, Chinese uh, factory workers do all disgusting, horrible things to those dildos before they get sanitized, if they get sanitized at all. I bet you at first they didn't and then make their way over to uh, Western consumers. So, yeah, enjoy that. And no, they don't all look like Jet Li in his prime. No, they don't. Um, yeah, so um, that's a nice, like, like, nice little thought to have. You know, as a male, I don't have to worry about that kind of problem. But, uh, you know, uh, some people do. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know... Uh, if the problem is you have to deal with people all the time who want to tear apart whatever beliefs you have that's that's the reality of life and um you know a lot of people i have no respect for their beliefs because their beliefs are stupid 
And, uh, you know, it's not an easy thing. It's not a nice thing to do. But if they're coming around to destroy my beliefs, I have zero problem destroying theirs. And I mean, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's not not nice trashing my friend and telling him his beliefs are stupid. But uh, my friend, if he feels so strongly, and he does, because he ended up marrying an Asian woman uh, from Thailand. Ugh. Who even knows where she's been? And she would lie compulsively too. You know, that's another thing to think about. Is uh, you have no idea where they've been at before that. Um, and you know they would use the justification while well, they're getting serious, blah 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 blah, as a reasoning uh, behind why they would compulsively lie about something. But I don't like compulsive liars. And you'd be surprised. Every wall not can get cracked. And uh, that's the same thing with any set of lies. Somebody's lying to you. If you keep at it and you don't let them discourage you and you pick up cues of when they are lying, all of a sudden you start to see them for who they really are and it may not be somebody you want to have any kind of commitment with. Right now, fuck buddy is all I'm looking for. And I want it to be a white chick. Don't want an Asian chick. Don't want a black chick. Don't want any of them. Not saying I'd never go with one. Not saying if the situation wasn't right, I wouldn't readjust my, you know, philosophies on certain things. But as it stands right now, with the way I see things, not a fucking chance. Not a fucking chance. And white women who feel pretty, oh, guess what? There are plenty of white women that are not you that are pretty as well. So if you're too much of a bitch, guess what? There are literally other fish in the sea they really are and that's you know one of these things about involuntary celibacy they try to tell you oh there's no women that want you there's hardly any women out there they all got boyfriends blah 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 and it's like well actually that's not true <laughs> not true at all and um anyway i'm getting off topic here the reasons why not to go to asia uh People are lured because they go, ooh, beaches, cheap booze, women, or well, they're prostitutes, women, uh, you know, cheap. And it's like, eh, none of those things are really what I look for in a, in a, in a vacation. <laughs> I look for class, you know, civilized society. You can have warm weather. Warm weather's fine. Beaches are fine. You have plenty of places that have beaches. They don't have to be a third world country. Um, there are plenty of first world countries that have beaches, like Italy, for example. You go there, that's a nice country. Well, you know, sort of. <laughs> it's a nice place to go to and, you know, eat a lot of lavish, nice meals anyway. Uh, and, you know, like Mexico, I, you know, I take a long hard think about it uh, you know especially as a Donald Trump supporter but uh, uh, you know I, I wouldn't exactly you know I need more information is what I'm saying and before I make a decision on that one but you know Italy Italy is nice uh, Spain can be nice even though they're assholes in some ways but uh, you know Europeans it's just you know there's so much, there's so much more sophistication in that uh, area of the world and anyone who tells you different you know it's a piece of trash. Piece of trash. And they're enabling a covert enemy, well, thinly veiled enemy. You only have to have half a fucking brain to know that they're not on your side. Uh, they're enabling them to get strong, to give them time to get stronger, and to come after us. And you look at the stumble bum idiots around here and you go, how are we going to stop them? Because I don't see anybody capable of doing that. And don't you fuckers think wearing a Canadian flag makes you any better or anything like that. Because it doesn't. It may do to the peasant. But guess what? You look white, you speak English, and you're in a shithole like Vietnam or something like that. Guess what? They're not going to go. Oh, he's Canadian, blah, blah, they may do in front of your face if you're stupid enough to believe you, to believe them. However, that's simply not the truth. And I really, really hope this ends up in one of those Japanese, what do you call them? They're 
I forget already. They're like apartment, uh, you know, lounge kind of things where uh, they're rental apartments for the night or whatever. Uh, I already forgot what they called. It was a stupid name anyway. Uh, and I hope somebody's going, I hate this guy. Because it only proves my point that, look, these people are trash and they're scum and they want to take everything that is ours. And that includes this country with all its beautiful trees and mountains and water and air. They want us to be, our quality of life to be lowered. And guess what? I'm not putting up with it. And I'm sure there are a lot of people, if I don't want to say woke, but if they, you know, activated a few of their brain cells would think the same way. And I really meant it. I will drop anyone who doesn't like a sack of potatoes like that. You're gone. It doesn't matter how I knew you, where I knew you, why I knew you or any of that. You're gone if you don't believe me. Uh, because I am not alibying people I despise. It's not happening. And uh, if they want to do that, then, you know, they can do it someplace else. Anyway, toodle-hoo.